Welcome to another video. You may have seen problems like this floating around on the internet and you're wondering how can I solve a problem like this where I'm asked to find the square root of a matrix. It's not a number. How am I supposed to find the square root of a matrix? Well, if the matrix is a two by two matrix, I have a formula you can use if you find this in a competition problem or maybe it's a test just to eliminate some of the candidates, you want to add this to your arsenal of um, tricks. Okay, so I'm going to show you the formula in another video. I'm going to show you how to how the formula was obtained. Okay, but right now I just want to show you the formula, use it and find the answer to this problem. Let's get into the video. So the first thing is for any two by two matrix, okay, which is going to come from the quadratic form of the formula I'm going to show you in the future. But if you have a two by two matrix, a square matrix, two by two, and um, some conditions are relevant, but we're going to talk about the conditions after we talk about um, what the formula looks like. This is it. Um, if A is a two by two matrix, then the square root of A, A plus the square root of the determinant of A multiplied by the identity matrix for the two by two matrix. So this is going to be the two by two. I'm just going to write the square identity, okay, which is a two by two, okay. Um, let me just, let me write it this way. Two by two identity matrix divided by a number. Now that number, so this is the sum of two matrices because this is a number times a matrix which gives you a matrix. You can add the two matrices together and then you're going to divide by a number. That number is the square root of the trace of A, the trace of A plus 2 times the determinant, 2 times the square root, this number here, the square root of the determinant of A. Like I told you, there is, this comes from a, a simple equation, and from the equation we can isolate the square root of A, and that's how we got this, okay? Try to memorize this for the future. So notice that the square root of A is A plus the determinant of A times the identity matrix for two by two matrices. And the denominator is the square root of the trace of A and two times the determinant, the square root of the determinant of A. Now, it looks crazy, but once I show you what, what happens, you will understand uh, what, what happens. So let's take this matrix, for example. Let's start with the first thing, A. Well, we know what A is, so all the ingredients we have we have A is equal to this matrix, which is going to be 2, 1, 2, 3. We're good. The next thing you need to know is the determinant of A and the square root of the determinant of A. Well, for a 2 by 2 matrix, the determinant is easy to compute. It is the diagonal product, okay, the main one, minus the minor diagonal product. So it's going to be 2 times 3, which is 6 minus 2 times 1, which is 2. So 6 minus 2 gives us 4. So we can say that the square root of the determinant of A equals the square root of, what is the determinant of A? It's going to be 6 minus 2, which is the square root of 4, which is equal to 2. Okay. So, now, there's some conditions that must be met, but I don't want to talk about that in this video, okay? Since we already have the formula, we're just going to use the formula. Now, let's go to the next thing. What do we have? We need to know what the trace of A is. Okay, so we have the trace. Let's write the full word. The trace of A 
is equal to the sum of all entries on the main diagonal. So look at the main diagonal. If you add up all the numbers here, it's just 2 plus 3, which is equal to 5. So this is equal to the trace, the short form, the trace of A equals 2 plus 3, which is equal to 5. Is there anything else that we need to compute? No, there are only three ingredients. The matrix itself computes the determinant and the square root of the determinant compute the determinant, uh, sorry, compute the trace, and that's it. So we have the square root of the determinant and the trace all good. So let's go solve the problem. Let's say this be this, let that be equal to B, okay? So that, so the square root of a number is another number which when you multiply by itself, you're gonna get the original number. The same thing for a matrix. The square root of a matrix is another matrix which when multiplied by itself is gonna give you this matrix. So let's say that matrix is B. So we know that B times B must give us this matrix. Okay, so B times B must be equal to 2, 1, 2, 3. This is what we're anticipating is going to happen. So let's find what B is. There's a matrix like that. Okay? So we're going to say that B equals, using this formula, the square root of A will be A plus. So what is A? A is this matrix. 2, 1, 2, 3. Plus. The square root of the determinant of A, we already found that to be 2. We're going to multiply it by the identity matrix. So it's going to be 2 times the identity matrix is 1, 0, 0, 1. We're going to divide by the square root of the trace of A plus 2 times the determinant of A. By the way, I chose this matrix just to make the calculation a bit easy, okay, or easier, but it's always easy because it's a two by two matrix. So what do you have? You're gonna have the square root. What is the trace of this matrix of A? It's going to be five plus two times the determinant of A, which is going to be two times, what's the, determin what's the square root of the determinant of A? It's 2, 2 times 2. So you notice that in the denominator, we're going to have 5 plus 4, which is equal to 9, and the square root of 9 is 3. So ultimately, what you have is, if you multiply this 2 by this matrix, you're going to end up with 2, 0, 0, 2. If you use this to multiply all the entries in here. So well, that's what I'm going to do just to save space and time. So we're going to write this to be 2 and this to be 2. So let's write 2, 2, and then this is no more there. Okay, so we have cleaned that up. And if you take care of the denominator here, you're going to end up with 9 in the denominator. So ultimately, you're going to have the sum of these two matrices and then you divide it by 3. Okay, so what do we have? This is equal to, if I add this to this, I'm going to get 4. 1 plus 0 is 1. 2 plus 0 is 2. And 3 plus 2 is 5. And I'm going to be dividing by the square root of 9, which is divided by 3. Well, this is the same thing as, so it is either I can write 1 over 3 on the outside here of this matrix, but I want to write each of the entries, so I have to divide each of these entries by 3. So my final answer is going to be 4 thirds, 1 third, 2 thirds, and 5 thirds. This is the matrix, which when you multiply it by itself, will give you this matrix. So all I have to do is just check to see that this is correct. So I'm gonna try doing the multiplication here and let's see the matrix we get ultimately. Let's see. So if I take this row and I multiply this column, see what's gonna happen. Four thirds times four thirds is 16 nines, okay? Let me write it out. 
16 over 9. Okay, plus 1 third times 2 third is going to be 2 ninths plus 2 ninths. That's how you multiply matrices. You take this, you multiply this, it's going to be 4 thirds times 1 third is going to be 4 ninths. So you're going to have 4 ninths plus, if you do this, this times this is going to give you 5 ninths plus 5 ninths. Okay. We go here, we do the same thing, take this row, multiply this way. It's going to be 2 thirds times 4 thirds is going to be 8 nines. 8 over 9 plus, use this to multiply this, is going to be 10 nines. 10 over 9. And you go here, use it to multiply this, you're going to get 2 nines. 2 over 9 plus, if you use this to multiply this, is going to be 25 over 9. 25 over 9. Okay, let's do the addition. You can see all the bases are 9999. Nine, nine, nine. So what's 16 plus 2? 18. What's 18 divided by 9? It's 2. So the matrix that we're going to get when we multiply them starts with a 2 here. Let's um, figure this out. This is 9 over 9. That's going to be 1. Nice. If we go here, this is 18 over 9. That's going to be 2. And here, this is going to be 27 over 9, which is going to be 3. And that looks like the original matrix we were looking for. So, you found a good way to find the square root of a 2 by 2 matrix. Now, there is some condition. Or maybe there are two conditions. The first condition is that, number one, actually, that's the only condition. It does, now, if you want real roots, then you have to deal with whether the determinant is positive or negative, okay. But if you don't care about whether the roots are real or not, you don't have to worry. The only thing you should worry about is the denominator cannot be zero. And the only way this will be zero is if the trace is zero and the determinant is also zero. That's one way you get zero here. Another way is if twice the trace is, it, is if um, the trace is twice the um, square root of the determinant of a, and it is the opposite sign, then you know that, notice that a negative plus a positive equal values will give you zero. So those are the only things you want to watch out for. And that's when you will say that um, a two by two matrix does not have a square root. But if those conditions that I just mentioned don't exist for the for this um, matrix, then it always has a square root. There are other ways of finding this, okay? There's something called the Kolesky decomposition. There is also another way where you have to find, yeah, it's still the Kolesky decomposition, or you might use, you might try to change it into an upper triangular triangle, upper, lower, lower triangular matrix, okay? Yeah, that was the first example I picked, but I just wanted it to be as natural as possible, and I picked this one. Ah, and that's it. Leave a comment in the comment section. I will explain how the formula came by in another video. Never stop learning. Fills to stop learning. Stop living. Bye-bye.